Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to talk about how companies use Salesforce. So we're going to look at what Salesforce actually is. We'll look at how sales and service teams use it, how marketing and commerce teams can use Salesforce, how Experience Cloud, MuleSoft and Analytics helps, and then what Slack and Nonprofit can do. And then finally, we're going to close off with a quick chat about sandboxes. So first, let's get a basic understanding of the Salesforce product before we dive too deep. At its most basic form, Salesforce is just a spreadsheet. Now, it is an incredibly powerful and innovative spreadsheet that can make a huge difference to companies and customers. But at its heart, it's just a spreadsheet with a slick user interface. So if we look at a spreadsheet and we compare it to Salesforce, we can see the similarities. First of all, we have the spreadsheet itself, which contains all the tabs, the columns and the rows. And if we compare this to Salesforce, the spreadsheet is the org, the tabs are the objects, the columns are the fields and the rows are the records. Pretty simple, right? So how is it that companies use Salesforce to do what they do? Well, that depends on what it is that they're trying to do. Sales teams will use Sales Cloud, which utilizes leads, accounts, contacts, opportunities, quotes and forecasting tools. And that allows their salespeople to sell faster and sell smarter. Service teams will use Service Cloud, which uses accounts, contacts and cases. And this allows them to provide the best customer service and support, meaning that they can resolve customer issues quickly. Marketing teams can use Marketing Cloud to create and run highly effective marketing campaigns. Commerce teams will use Commerce Cloud to create seamless shopping experiences. We have Experience Cloud, which is an online social platform that enables companies to connect customers, partners and employees. MuleSoft is a fantastic tool for helping businesses integrate and connect data. You could connect data, applications and devices across an on-premise and cloud solutions. So MuleSoft can act as the glue, the conduit between different systems just to make sure that all that data is being utilized in Salesforce. Then we have CRM analytics, and this helps companies make data-driven decisions, and it acts as Salesforce's business intelligence solution. Slack can be used to drive collaboration throughout companies, and then Nonprofit Cloud is Salesforce's industry-specific solution for nonprofits. It's used for program management, grant making, fundraising, and has a wide range of features to help nonprofits. And don't forget that Salesforce is mobile friendly with a dedicated mobile app, which makes it perfect for teams on the go. Whatever the use case is, Salesforce can be customized to fulfill it. Before we finish off, let's talk about sandboxes as they are pretty important. When a company wants to customize their Salesforce instance, it's recommended that they carry out all the configuration in a sandbox first, rather than directly in the production org, which is the live environment. This will just ensure any unexpected changes or implications don't affect real life data. When configuration is carried out in sandboxes, the production remains untouched, meaning that you could test new apps, try new configuration and make changes without worrying about making a mess of your live org. Now sandboxes come in four flavors. We have developer, developer pro, partial copy and full copy. Developer sandboxes are the most basic sandbox and they allow for developers to carry out customization. They are limited to 200 megabytes of test data, which is sufficient for small developments and testing. You can refresh a developer sandbox once a day. The developer pro sandbox is similar to the developer sandbox, but it can include up to one gigabyte of data. They can be used for development, QA, integration testing and training. Just like the developer sandbox, they can be refreshed once a day. Next, we have partial copy sandboxes, and these include all of your organization's metadata and a select amount of your production organization data that you define using a sandbox template. These are great for QA, user acceptance testing, integration tests, and training, and you can refresh them every five days. Full sandboxes copy your entire production's organization and its data including standard and custom object records, documents and attachments. These are the best for performance testing, load testing and staging, and you can refresh a full sandbox every 29 days.